Welcome back to another video guys. Um, today I'm going to showcase some of my new wavetables from the uh, successor to side tables. So um, I created a new wavetable pack called side tables volume 2 which consists of 205 wavetables um, Everything from additive, weird sci-fi sounds to effects, basses, FMs, um, atmospheric tables, um, you name it. Um, it was quite, uh, quite challenging to put it together because I really thought that my first pack was really, really good as well. So um, I wanted to try... Um, a different approach, uh, focusing more on additive sounds, since um, additive uh, is, is is has quite a cool timbre to it. Sounds very, very glassy, um, very futuristic sounding, and, and such. So, so um, I managed to pull it off. Um, so anyway, um, I started. I was going to show, or I was going to showcase some, like how I would use them in context. Uh, so you guys can get a feel for what to expect. As usual, I'll leave a link in the description on where you can get them. Um, so yeah, let's get right to it. So, so far I've loaded up a serum over here with a kick from Mute Production or Shep. Uh, he's a mate of mine. Um, I'll leave a link to his pack as well where you can get these stuff. Uh, it's the Mudra preset pack for serum. So without further ado, let's get started. So we got some bases over here, different shapes. And I'm gonna create a baseline to this kick. So let's see, I think I was in G as usual. It's a little bit high up. It's good enough. And max the velocity, then we're gonna mark first note here. About so, I suppose. Turn off the random. Let's apply a filter. I like the 24 dB filter for these base, base tables that I created. Check the phase. I think it's good enough. Don't forget to map this one. Let's just cycle through them. And if you write 359.9, you're gonna get start on the other end over here. Sometimes it just sounds better. So 
So yeah, let's uh, go for number 10. And mind that there's no processing at all except for the filter. Let's maybe turn down the volume of this one. Maybe want a little bit of click in there. Let's just turn down the attack, so. It's not much you need to do now. Maybe a little bit off, off the face, maybe. Who cares? Anyway, so now, cool, we got a base. Let's create something else. Let's see what else we have. So all of my tables, they are best heard at like low octaves, like C0 to C2. Um, so let's see if we can add this one. So just to demonstrate where I'm playing. This is G1, G0. So we've got a bunch of additive tables. some pretty cool some cool effects and atmosphere so let's try and make a patch with this one for example maybe some kind of LFO map to the way table position but the opposite way tables over here as you can see I like these additive plings and plongs sounds something like this for making sweeps and uh, similar similar stuff I guess you could do a like a I don't know maybe not a random maybe slight modulation
can also make riser effects with them. Um, let's move on to something else. We got added to phaser. I actually forgot what this was. Nice. Idea. Uh, we got. I suggest I maybe want to create subfolders with this. Um, we got some riser tables. them. These are pretty interesting. Wait. Let's uh, grab something like autoplay on this one. not going to be a tutorial on this but what you can do now is I'm going to freeze a seed so it's always going to repeat it so we get a little bit of control chaos and then I'm going to have this guy playing and then we can do the classic note on random and can mess with the unison for example. Now I'm playing really low octaves. something that I call the additive wobbler. Couldn't really come up with a better name for it. So yeah, then we got, oh yeah, the bases I already went through them. We got some birds. Actually, captured a little fly in this one. <laughs> At the end. <laughs> that was actually a mistake, but it was a happy accident, so I wanted to leave it there. So birds are actually additive synthesizers. They 
just produce sine waves. As does everything else, but you can clearly see that it's quite clean, like waveforms if you look at it. Uh, so pretty cool. This is a common, uh, this was a, a, a wood pigeon, I think they're called. So they, <laughs> I hear them all the time here in, in Sweden where I live. Um, it's like a typical summer thing to hear. So yeah, anyway, we've got some other stuff here as well. Some pretty cool comb, comb morph thing, I don't know. Just some random stuff. Ultimate squelch fart. Um, some pretty eerie atmosphere stuff. This is something that you might want to have a longer sweep for. some of the I'm not gonna spoil what it is you guys gonna hear what it is from some of these we got some FM This one is pretty interesting actually. I recorded my neighbors. They were drilling in the apartment above me, I think, and uh, <laughs> I turned that into a wavetable. And it actually turned out to sound uh, as a pretty good FM lead, to be honest. So thank you, neighbors, for that fucking drill session you guys had. I fucking hate you for that. Got some format thing. Wow. 
this table is actually, what should I say? I think, like, you gotta fine tune it somehow. These ones are pretty interesting. Like, I think we can demonstrate it with a node or random again. a new seed. So they're pretty cool for texture sounds. You can try stretching them, um, like stretch them or um, just play around with them, resample it. This sounds like a little creature th something. Like a real. So if you want to hear them dry... Pretty unstable one. Then we got some granular stuff. This one's pretty interesting because you can actually hear there's a reverb inside the sample. So yeah. So these are perfect for experimental sound design, making some kind of weird effects, atmospheres, you name it. Very glassy, metallic. Then just some weird morph here.
laser sweep. Sample and hold sequences that got resampled. We got some square bases. Um, I suppose we could do something like this. Let's go in here and choose our square base instead. It's going to save us some time. Okay, yeah, you would definitely want to create subfolders for my tables. I'm sorry I haven't really done that for this pack. Um, I can see now that it's unbearable to have it like this. But the reason being I didn't do it is because some VSTs looking at Juvital doesn't support um, subfolders while Serum does. So a suggestion is when you're going to um, put these inside of your, your uh, what you call it, like in your folder structure, what you want to do is split them up, sort them, so you have like, I don't know, side tables v2 granular, side tables v2 effects, and so on and so on. So it's going to be easier for you to browse uh, through them. Um, so anyway, let's try with the base. Turn this off. If you want like a square base texture, you can use that as well. This one is a sweep, actually. If you want like a more bit crushed. Bit crushed feeling to it. So I kind of like square bases, they're cool. Uh, what you also can do, um, which, which I experimented with um, before is actually, if you just grab, like, let's try. Let's try some of my tables over here. Let's see, maybe we can try a, one of the effects tables. So this sounds pretty bad, right? But if we turn off on the sub oscillator. There was this table where I can't remember which one, but anyway, I, I made a base out of where I used one of these as a layer. And then I used a sub oscillator for, for the actual um, What do you call it for the actual um, for the actual base? And it turned out to be pretty cool. But of course, I can't recreate it now. like these different textures of, out of it. So yeah, that's an idea you can try out and experiment with and see if you can come up with something new then that isn't a square or a sawtooth base. base. Um, so let's get back to where I was. Now I forgot which one it was, base 11, I think, wasn't it?
and that's all. Now we're into some other way table pack that isn't mine. So yeah, that's all I want to show you guys. It was quite a long video, but uh, I really wanted to showcase a little bit more in detail of what you can expect from it. Um, as I said before, I'll leave a link in the description where you can get them. I'll also leave a link to Shep's preset pack where you can get it. And I'll also leave a link to Altar's plugins, which is the autoplay, for example. Um, yeah, so don't hesitate to reach out. Um, you'll find links to where you can contact me in the description as well. I uh, would love to hear what you guys made with these packs. So um, if you decide to buy it, thank you so much for your support. Um, if not, maybe next time. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, see you in the next one.